Chang'e Six has finished its most tense period of work. In around 48 hours of frenetic laboring, it has collected the world's very first samples from the lunar far side and surveyed the mysterious dark side of the moon. It all happened in a general area that's been pre-selected, but the exact points of contact between the probe and the moon is new and, to some extent, unknown even to those who've worked on the mission. For years, Jing Shengyi, one of the professionals who know the process like the back of his hands, showed us the process with the true size model of Chang'e Five probe, which is almost identical of the Chang'e Six probe. He says the first step to successful sample gathering is having exact replicas made of the probe's work area, some 380,000 kilometers away. When the lander lands on the lunar surface, it needs to first have perceptual imaging on location. We analyze this data and build our digital model for the location environment. Then based on this digital model, we will build a physical replica that restores the lunar surface environment one to one. And this takes place in our mission support center. We place a sample gathering mechanism in this replica environment, which is also turned to the same status as the one on the moon. In this reconstructed physical environment, we select sampling points and establish sampling strategies and also verify them in this reconstructed environment. When that is done, the probe on the moon will execute our instructions and implement lunar sampling for real. It is estimated that drilling part can be completed in about three hours. Service sampling is conducted about 15 times over no less than 14 hours. It's hoped that the tense sample gathering could mean two kilograms of lunar samples being brought back from the moon to Earth.